In this video, I am going to show you the different parts of a laptop motherboard. So basically, we have this older laptop that we have opened up to show you its different parts. The power supply enters this motherboard from this section and it's going through this connector over here and we will have some power supply ICs like here you can figure it out these are the power supply components typically we have the inductor and these other ICs the most important part the processor is lies here it's uh, there is a heat sink on the top of the processor and we have a chipset over here there is a heat sink right on the top of the chipset basically the heat is transferred from the processor and the chipset to the heat sink and through this heat sink is a conductor of metal part which goes on the to the outside and this part stays outside of the motherboard and the fan it helps in getting the heat out of the motherboard if you remove this uh, motherboard if this uh, if you remove this heat sink you can find the see the processor lying underneath the heat sink in this processor we have two parts one is the silicon itself and this is the package of this processor if you remove this uh, processor you see the socket the processor is socketed into this socket it's possible to replace this processor if you wanted to but the newer uh, notebooks they are expected to come directly soldered over the motherboard like this one this chipset is directly soldered to the motherboard so it's not possible to replace it unless you use some highly specialized equipment to take this one out and then replace it this part we have the memory it's there are two sockets of it you can place the memory into these this is a bluetooth and a wi-fi module that you can take out and replace if you wanted to on this section we have the computer's uh, hard disk, it stays, and there's a space for uh, DVD drive in this notebook. If you see, this is how this computer extends the USB through this connector. It's different for different laptops. Some of them may have the USB directly on the motherboard itself, and in this case, it's extending it using a cable. It makes a space for the hard disk. We also have a speaker connected to this laptop they are usually small speakers and that's why you don't see a, a loud uh, voice on with the motherboards we also have uh, on the left hand side all the connectors for the audio there's a usb connector you can see this ethernet connector and then this part is a magnetic coil to the ethernet we can also see the VGA connector and an HDMI connector on the edge of the motherboard so this pretty much forms most of the parts of the laptop we have a connector for the screen that goes from here to the screen that has been removed from this laptop thank you for taking a look